Hey everyone, this is Deanne Castro, Creative Memories Independent Advisor, and I'm here to show you a new border that I created this week using the Vivid Melodies collection. I used, um, let's see, the Jazzberry on one border um, with a little bit of butterscotch. I used the butterscotch with a little bit of Jazzberry, and then tonight I'm going to be using the Capri Blue with a little bit of butterscotch. So kind of a combination of a few of the different colors. So um, I'm also gonna be using the Damask Flourish uh, Frame Punch. So let's get started and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so here's the one with the Jazzberry and um, it's got the Jazzberry embellishments on it. And then this is the one with that's mostly the butterscotch with the butterscotch embellishments. Now this is a cluster of four different embellishments. Actually, this one is three. It's uh, some leaves and then the two different flowers. This one is four, it's a cluster of four, and they're on foam squares. So it's got the two flowers with the leaves. Okay, so I'm gonna be using uh, the pre-blue tonight. So, this is the one that I'm going to be using most of, this Capri Blue, and I love the colors in these. They are so pretty and so vibrant. And then we've got Butterscotch. So we've got a lot of, um, we've got the florals, we've got some little flowers, we have ombre, um, blended colors, lots of different yellows in here. And um, then we also have the embellishments. Now this one is the Jazzberry and it's got a lot in it. I've actually combined two different packs because I took some out of one and then I took some out of another. So I didn't have complete packs. So I kind of just combined them. But you can see how really pretty they are. And then this one is the, the pretty blue that I took them out of. Missing some. Um, Here's the back with some of the different um, embellishments that are inside. So let's go ahead and get started. So first that I have right here is just a regular piece of a little bit of a heavy cardstock. And I'm gonna be cutting this and putting it in this punch. And I'll show you in a minute what I'm gonna do with that. So I have two different colors of the Capri Blue. I have a light blue with some light blue dots and then a dark blue with some light blue dots. Kind of hard to see the way the light is, but um, they're really pretty. And then I have this yellow that I'm using out of the butterscotch. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to show you what I did with this punch. I want it. I didn't want all of it. I didn't want this whole punch. I didn't want the very top on here. I wanted it just up to maybe um, this little part right here that would cut across. So what I did was, is I took my ruler and I measured how, how far down that section was going to be on here. And it came down about five eighths of an inch. So it's going to be kind of hard to see with the ruler. But that section was down about five eighths of an inch. So, what I'm going to do with this piece of cardstock is I'm going to cut a piece at about five eighths of an inch. So, one half would be four eighths. And so, one more eighth is five eighths of an inch. So, let's see, just a half. There's the other eighth. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this piece that out of the way. And I wanted a little bit of a heavier piece of cardstock because I'm going to put this in the back of this punch so that the paper doesn't go in all the way to the back on this punch. I'm actually going to cut part of this off. <clears throat> So it's not quite so long. Okay, and then I'm going to 
put this on here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the repositionable tape on the ends so that it will stay down, but it's not gonna move on me. And I'm gonna slide this back in here. Make sure I got that on there in the right spot. Yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna push this all the way up to the very back of this punch. See here? Then what I'm going to do is this is a piece I'm gonna punch with this punch. I'm going to get out my scoring blade. And switch it out from the straight blade. And I'm gonna score this at one inch because that's about what's left it's just about an inch is left on this punch after I've put that uh, 5 8 inch piece on there. Mm. And I want to make this as straight as I can. So I'm going to make sure I've got this lined up on the line all the way down. Kind of gently push this down. Take the scoring blade out because I'm going to need the straight blade back in. I don't want to forget that. Okay, now I'm going to fold this over. And make sure that I did that right, that it's at an inch. Yes. Okay, then I'm going to put some repositionable tape on the back of this. So it will hold the fold down, and it won't get as stuck in the punch. And I'm gonna use that repositionable tape once I put it on the border as well. Okay, so now I'm going to put this paper in. I am gonna go ahead and line it up with this line here on the punch, but I'm not gonna push it all the way back in. I'm just gonna line it up against this piece of cardstock. Okay, make it as straight as I can and punch. And then I'm going to move it over. Line it up. Now you're, now you're supposed to line it up to where you cover up all the blue. Okay. And I'm going to do that. But I'm also going to make sure hold this up here so you can see it. I want to make sure that this point right here is right on this line. You see that line right there? I'm going to line it up on that line and then just make sure that it's pushed up against the cardstock. And that way I know it's going to be lined up okay. Okay, punch again. Now, since I'm going to be having the flowers in the middle, I'm not going to punch this all the way across. I could. But I really kind of liked having this plain piece in here as well. So I only punched twice on that side. Now I'm going to line this up against this line on this side here. So I'm going to move it the other direction. Okay. Now again, I'm just going to line it up right against that piece of cardstock. Punch it. Then move it over and make sure that that point is in the middle of that line on this side and punch again okay so that just gives me two punches on one side and two punches on the other side to this border okay so now i'm done with the damask flourish punch and i'm going to put this back in my trimmer And I'm going to trim it at the one inch, which will make both sides even to add this to the border. Okay, 
I missed that. Gently pull it apart because it's got some real delicate detail on here. Make sure I don't rip that off. There we go. Hold on the way down and then again gently pull this piece apart. And we have this new pattern, okay? So it doesn't look exactly like this, but it's added a nice fun little um, different design for this border, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put, unbend this just a little bit here. So it'll lay a little flatter, okay? Now the next piece I'm gonna cut is this yellow. And I'm gonna cut it at two and a quarter inches. And this is directional, so I wanna look at it to see which way I want it to show up on the border. So I think I'm gonna change this. So it'll look across this way, okay. So I'm gonna cut this at two and one quarter inches because the piece, this piece is two inches. Okay, this out of the way. And so I'm gonna put this down the middle of this border, this yellow piece, just kind of eyeball it, center it on here. Pull it all the way down. Okay, so since I already have the repositionable tape on the back of this, I didn't need to retape it. Okay, now the last piece, I want to use the stamping blade. One, sorry, blade away. Pull out the straight blade. Let's see. Yeah, that's in the way I want it. I want this to be with the, the stamping name in the cartridge to the left side. Okay, so I'm going to take this last piece and I'm just going to cut a little bit off the end to get that border piece on there. Make sure it's straight. Okay, so see, I just cut like an eighth of an inch off just so I could get that pattern on that side. Now I'm going to turn it this way so that the pattern punches the same way on this side as it did that side. And I'm going to cut this at two and a half inches. Okay, so this is two and a half. And that's the last piece. <clears throat> Look this up. Okay. okay, and now I'm going to adhere this piece to the base. Here again, just kind of eyeball it, line it up in the middle of that piece. And there is the whole base of that border. Now, um, I did this ahead of time. I went ahead and I chose um, two leaves and two flowers out of that embellishment pack. And I just kind of adhered them together so that when I put them on the border, they will look good. And you know what? I'm not quite sure that's the way I want it to look. I think I want to move this leaf. Loosen this up a little bit. Turn this leaf. And then add this flower back. There we go. I like that better. That's not sticking up quite as high. 
So now I'm going to add some foam squares to the back of this. Now you don't have to do this if you don't like the extra um, um, base on the border, the raised edges. You don't have to add these um, foam squares, but I just thought it gave it a, a pretty little um, extra dimension lifting it up. I'm just going to add a bunch of these on here. Let me take these off. Okay, if you guys like this border, um, check out my other videos. And um, please, if you think about it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. That would be great. Um, once I get to 250 um, subscribers, I'm going to do a little drawing. So we'll give a couple of things away to those who have subscribed. Thank you for doing that. And uh, if you want to get notifications when I go ahead and put out my videos, usually on a Wednesday morning, um, just ring, uh, click on the bell when you subscribe and you'll get those notifications. So there you go. This border's done. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. It is just gorgeous. Thank you for watching. And I just want to remind you, um, if you liked these items, go ahead and get a hold of your Creative Memories Advisor. I'm sure she would appreciate you ordering from her. If you don't happen to have an advisor, Please uh, go ahead. You can order from me, www.creativememories.com forward slash user forward slash DN Castro. And I'd be happy to help you out. If you have any questions, any suggestions you'd like to make, please go ahead and note those in the comments. And, um, I'd be happy to get back to you and just uh, see what you think. All right. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this border, and I shall see you guys next week with another one. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.